What's up, everybody? My name's Russ with RWResearch.com. Today, <laughs> it's actually a review video. So if you guys need a set of calipers, discount code down in the description. I don't do too many reviews, but this one I did because I will be using these off and on, and I only do reviews on things I actually use. So at the end of the day, these are nice. And uh, if you need some calipers, yeah, you can get a discount discount code in the description for I don't know how long, a week or so. So anyway, let's get into it. Unboxing. What's up, everybody? I don't have a shirt on. I oh, can't get in the picture. Oh, you can't get in the camera. Hey, today's video is about this wonderful caliper that we got <laughs> from Amazon. It was sent to us, and we're going to give it a, a, a review. So uh, check it out. My wife's going to un unbox it. Um, this is like serious business happening right now. <laughs> I can't even get it open. All right, keep it in the camera view. Okay. Really? So Just open it like this. I'm trying. I can't. Oh wow! It's really sure. Go for it. Tight in there. Yeah, it's tight in there. Which is good. Oh, it's good. Tightness is good. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh! Is it's it upside, upside down? down? There you go. Fun little container. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Show us what we got. So it comes with a little booklet. A booklet? Yeah, for people that don't know what they're doing like me. Oh, you should read it. And this is probably a cloth to wipe off the digital area. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. All the languages. What's the black brown paper for? It's actually to soak up the oils and, th and stuff, I do believe, typically. Okay. Nice large digital screen. Much? Wow! So that's fun. Very cool. They're heavy. Heavies mean solid. Solid is good, I think. Okay. What's now in what, there? What do I do? What's in there? Oh, oh, an extra battery. And look, it comes with the big batteries, not the small ones. So is there already one in there, or we gotta put it in? This right there, I do believe. We have to put it in. No, I believe that's an extra. Try to turn it on. Okay. Oh, that's a nice wow. big screen. Yep. Does it have a film covering on it? Cause it looks pretty dirty. Yeah, it does. Which I'm gonna leave on there. Okay. So how do you use these things again? You well, just what do you think about the quality? Let me do. Give me a quality check. Um. I mean, it's pretty solid. I feel like your other ones are fancier. Well, my other ones are veneer calipers. They're but dial calipers. These are digital veneer calipers. But don't you have digital ones? Like I feel like this is plastic, and that just kind of takes away from the quality. Sure, but almost all digital calipers are plastic, so oh. most then, most of the covers. And it must be good. How do you open it? Yeah, this might be tight. Loosen that up, and then you can slide it. Use this. Uh huh. Can you do this? Oh, look, you're on fractions. Oh, man. Change it to a different one. Um, this one? Sure. That's millimeter. What else we got? Um, decimals and inches. inches. Well, how many digits? Four digits? Yeah. Point five. Point zero 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 five is the measurement there. What about millimeter? What is it in millimeter? Oh, fractions. fractions. A uh, millimeter looks like two digits. two digits. What? Go back to the fractions. What is the fractional uh, smallest increment? One, well, there's one twenty eighth. Mm -hmm. Just go real slow and see what they go through. Well, I feel like this is slipping. So. It's supposed to slip. Okay, so how do I move it? You're good. Pull it? You really should have your thumb. It's easier, but it's fine. I'm backwards. Yeah, I know you're backwards. One twenty eighth. So fractions down to a hundred and twenty eight divisions. So. That's what I was wondering. Is that good? Cool. Yeah. It looks nice. So it's got the bottom oh, yep. measure down in the hole. So that's like if you measure this way. Yeah. So that hole is uh, 5 sixteenths. And how do you do that? I, I roll it out like this. And then you can measure like that hole. Boop. Oh, okay. So that's 7.82 millimeters. And uh, there's a whole bunch of other goodies. So. Uh, what does this zero mean? Zero out? Uh, yeah, so if you close it all the way, and then you push the zero, now you're at zero, but it's already at zero. You can do some pretty cool math functions if you know how to measure holes and then in between holes. Mm -hmm. Like, uh. Ooh, there's a negative number. For, for example, 
if you have this piece of metal and we are going to drill a hole Riley can you please give these to the people who do not have them if you're going to measure a hole if you want to know the distance between holes you have to like guess but what you can do is if you measure the hole like that okay then you zero this out and then you measure between those two distances it says it's 12.54 no, one. Oh, 12. 12.54. 0.46, I mean. Yeah, 12.46. 12 12.45 in this case. So now if I zero it, and I go to 12.45, that should be exactly between those two holes. See that? Because I measured the hole first. So you can do some fun stuff like that. They feel, uh... I'm not used to this being so big. It is pretty big. It's pretty thick. Nice little uh, graph on the back there. Give you some help, uh, helpfulness in uh, conversions of things and stuff. But I like this big battery. Let's check out this big battery tray. Look at that. So it's supposed to be water. It does not look like it would be. I do not see any real protection on that. However, that's what they say. I don't know if I'd trust it. I just put that in upside down. I don't know. I didn't see how you took it. It looked like that was out, but it... It flipped over on me. Interesting. Yeah, that does not look waterproof to me. No, it does not. I will have to say that. We might have to take this apart and just get a glimpse at it and see how waterproof slash resistant it really is. All right. Let's go measure some stuff. Good job. I still don't have a shirt on. All right, so I'm learning here. Apparently, from what I can understand on the uh, website, I can't get this open. Have my wife do that. So from what I oh, still I left it on. From what I can understand, um, it's not actually you can't dip this thing in water, but it is splash proof, so that's fine. Um, I wouldn't expect these to be too much. Um, you know what's interesting though is if you look down the edge of this thing it actually looks shiny and that is because they're using a glass material as their uh, pickup it's like usually a capacitive uh, sort of pickup in here um, I have been uh, really whipping this thing open and closed and it seems like it's keeping its measurements identical so that's 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 awesome so for fun I got here a, uh, uh, what size is that? Half inch, all right, half inch piece, bang on. Half inch, that's good. Got here a uh, three quarter inch tool, bang on, can't complain about that. Got me a one inch cutter I just used in the, my other video you guys watched. See what that guy looks like. Ah, bang on. Can't complain, man. Pretty good little set of calipers. Um, I really like the uh, the big battery. That's really nice. But yeah, that's my uh, quick overview of the calipers. And uh, I'm pretty happy with them. So check out the link in the description. There is a, a discount code for you guys if you wish to go get some. Um, what I really like about these personally is that you can actually turn them off. They still will drain the battery apparently if you don't use them for a long time, but being able to turn that off is really nice. They say they last up to a year with uh, that battery, but luckily they uh, did send an extra battery. That's pretty nice. So anyway, that's all she wrote, boys. Thanks for watching. Like Have a great day. Oh, what? You didn't like my unboxing video? No, I am not doing the unboxing video. You did the unboxing video. I did. Now I'm just doing the end of the video. So. Yeah, if you need some calipers, go get them. It, I will say though, uh, they're not going to be waterproof. Uh, this does not have a seal, and actually, in the description on their web uh, site um, or on the on the Amazon link, it's uh, pretty clear. Don't don't submerge these in water. Um, it does mention that these are stainless steel. However, mine's highly magnetic, so give that to what you is. To what you give that to what you is. That is not proper English. 
Anyway, give that to what you is. Uh, I will say though, it is interesting. This is a glass slide behind here, so the glass isn't nearly uh, as affected by the heat. So that the precision on these should be a little better than the uh, the ones that are not glass. So usually there's like a uh, fiberglass board back here with little uh, things on it that actually uh, this is used to pick up the dimensions and this one is actually glass uh, so that's pretty interesting I've never seen that so yeah quality is fine quality is good if you need a pair go get them thanks for watching read the Bible more bye any last words uh, no those were words they were last see ya <laughs>